Hi. Hello. Oh my gosh, so good to see you. It's so good to see you. Thank you for coming over. Of course. Oh my God, okay, show us the rest. Yeah, come on in. Well, we have a quite eclectic mix. Um, this is an old loft from the early 1900s. It used to be a, a rice warehouse. And so we just kept it very open and natural, yeah. and it's a great showcase for art. Well, always my favorite is my husband, Leo Villarreal. <laughs> That's always my favorite. Of course. His light works really just like completely shift an environment as soon as they get turned on. One of the great honors of my life is that I have been uh, painted by Alex Katz, like probably about 22 times. Wait, this is Not you. counting. Yes, it is. <gasps> and your husband. This is me. Don't you, Stop. Don't you recognize me? What? Oh, I get it now. Yeah. I met Alex and Ada when I was living in Madrid in 1990. Okay. And I went to his show and um, some person behind me said, what do you think? And I turned around and it was Alex Katz. And so when I moved back to New York in the early 90s, I ran into him in Indochine. And then um, he asked me to start modeling for him. So I've modeled for him many times and I'm going to again very soon. So the first painting was in 1993, and then this painting is about 2005. Mm. So I've been painted so many times, and when he painted this, I'm like, Alex, my God, uh, how can we get this? Abstract. I'm obsessed with the furniture too. It's all 70s. It all goes so well, like the pink, you know yes. me, like I'm like. The pink is the best, have a seat. It goes So, like... and I'll just tell you, oh. um, actually baby Jane Holzer, who is my mentor and dear friend, she found this couch for me in the basement of a Southampton thrift store. Okay. And she called me and she said, Yvonne, you, uh, there's only one person I know that should have this couch, it's you. So I it got it, so everything, it's a 70s Italian, no name. All my furniture is starts from 1969 with the John Chamberlain couch and goes through to the 70s. Tell me about this one. This is a really incredible piece from 2005 okay. by Rachel Feinstein, who is an incredible artist. She just had a survey show at the Jewish Museum. Oh. This piece was actually in it. They mm -hmm. borrowed this for me. And this is the beginning of her looking at aging in her work. Mm. This is something that she's very interested in, the life cycle of women, which is something I'm very interested in too, because yeah. I'm a pro-ager. I don't really <laughs> like the What does that mean? Anti-ager, I find that to be negative anti-ager. I like the term pro-ager, which is about embracing, mm. um, going to higher levels. Mm -hmm. I also try not to use the word old mm -hmm. um, because it's used in a very derogatory manner for yeah. women in our society. So this piece is a constant reminder. And when I first acquired it in 2005, you know, I was much younger. Yeah. And now I look at it, I'm like, oh, I'm getting a little bit of that <laughs> jowl thing too, you know? What is it though? Like, This what is, is it made to be? of a denture material. Can I touch it? Yes. It's by the artist Keith Edmire. And, oh, it's um, soft. Yeah. And he's often playing with... Um, ideas of these uh, supernatural flowers, but mm -hmm. some of them actually do exist, the kind of monumental flowers that that open like once a year. Yeah. And I love it in juxtaposition with the Adam McEwen. Um, this is from mm -hmm. the Bomber Harris series, and he's taking like the idea of gum on the street, but also like aerial view perhaps of bombing. Yeah. And um, it's especially beautiful at night when I turn off all the lights, it glows. And tell me about this couch. Can I sit in it? Oh yes, please have a seat. I, this how is, do people? Oh, this just couch. Kind of it is a barge <gasps> couch. It is by the artist John Chamberlain, most well this known is... for his craft car sculptures. So comfortable. And in the <laughs> late sixties, um, rumor has it Judd came over to his studio. He was making the hard sculptures and also making foam sculptures yeah. at the time. And he's like. He said to him, you have so much foam and there's no place to sit. This is where people can sit and yes. actually have a conversation. My 19-year-old uh, son, he and his friends come over here and they just lounge there so in good. it. I just love seeing that. And it's an interesting story because I used to work at a gallery called AD, which stands for Artist Designer. Mm -hmm. It's no longer open. It was a real tra trailblazing gallery 
where we invited artists to create functional objects. Yeah. So this was in the early 90s I had this job. Yeah. I was basically a gallerina before the word existed. <laughs> I was sitting in a Donald Judd chair. It was mm. very hard metal chair. Yeah. And um, the, the incredible woman who started the gallery, her name is Elizabeth Cunnick, and she just put on these historic shows. And, and she had... Um, a show after I moved on and started my art advisory and I had for the first time in my life like a little bit of money to spend. I'm like, Elizabeth, yeah. please, if you should ever get a Chamberlain couch in or do a show, I would love to consider getting one. And so in fact, um, she did a Chamberlain show and that's where my husband Leo and I met each other. We actually met right over this piece. And so this has been a really important artwork in our collection. So this is this is the piece that brought you guys together. Yes, Wait, yes. I went on a so payment romantic. plan to buy it. It didn't cost that's much. So Took me about romantic. a year. Yeah. Okay. So this is significant. This is very significant, which is good because some you know, I feel like people don't really realize when people collect, there is special meaning behind it other than just a visual beauty. Yes. So to hear that story is so fascinating. Absolutely, it um, is true. Okay. Well, here's another one of me and Alex. Oh my God. This is a more recent one. And he did a series of women, a lot of women in the art world who you're well acquainted with. Yeah. And uh, he told every one of us to wear a black dress. And he did a whole series, so uh, which take up a whole wall if you install them together. Yeah, yeah. And this is a print from that series. This is the most recent painting that mm -hmm. I acquired. And it's by an artist named Amy Lincoln. Mm -hmm. She just had her second solo show at Sproni Westwater. And um, I'm obsessed with her work. She's dealing with nature in a really transcendental manner mm -hmm. and um, definitely coming out of the Georgie O'Keeffe School oh. and the Transcendentalists. And as a matter of fact, this was the first artist that I ever found on Instagram. Oh, no okay, way. I never thought I would be the person like discovering artists yeah. on Instagram. A little bit about this masterpiece, oh my God. which is really uh, such an honor and a privilege to live with this, to be the custodian for this great painting by Lisa Yaskavage. Mm. And even though Lisa really doesn't have an official fan club, I am the president of it. <laughs> if you'd like to join, let me know. <laughs> Um, this is called mm -hmm. Blonde, Brunette, and Redhead. Is it a triptych? Or it is a triptych. Mm -hmm. I remember saying her name, Lisa Yuskavage, just memorizing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was painting this at the time. Mm -hmm. And it was really one of these studio visits that's like, you know, you, you're walking into a very important artist's studio at a very particular time in their career. Yeah. In, in her case, there were many paintings just up against the wall. Mm -hmm. It's before, on the brink before she started getting such um, acclaim. Mm -hmm. I broke her record when I bought this painting. It was um, all of $10,000. Oh, and I think wow. after 10% off, I got it for 9,000. That's crazy. And I, I really just cherish living with this work. What's this piece? Is this what I think it is? Jeff Koons. This is a, a yes, the, body, the Venus of Willendorf, okay. which is also oh, oh, wow. a <gasps> Dom Perignon. Oh my God. <laughs> That is so yeah, funny. So Don Perignon has been a very big supporter of our production fund uh -huh. and done all kinds of great collaborations with artists. And this one is with um, incredible Jeff Koons. So. Do you ever pop one and replace it or you just kind of keep it in there? Uh, keep it in there. <laughs> that okay. is a very special vintage 2008 rosé that will be there all the time. No having it for brunch, sorry. No <laughs> brunch. We have other other vintages for you. Thank you.